Repent, therefore, and turn again, that your sins may be blotted out, so that there may come times of refreshing from the presence of the Lord. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and righteous to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we haven't sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. That if you will confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. If, therefore, you are offering your gift at the altar, and there remember that your brother has anything against you, Leave your gift there before the altar and go your way. First be reconciled to your brother, and then come and offer your gift. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become God's children, to those who believe in his name, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, then I will come in to him and will dine with him and he with me. He who overcomes, I will give to him to sit down with me on my throne. Elijah came near to all the people and said, How long will you waver between the two sides? If the Lord is God, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. Therefore it says, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Be subject therefore to God, but resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path. I have sworn and have confirmed it that I will obey your righteous ordinances. I am afflicted very much. Revive me, Yahweh, according to your word. Accept, I beg you, the willing offerings of my mouth. Yahweh, teach me your ordinances. Come now and let us reason together, says the Lord, though your sins be as scarlet. They shall be white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. But if you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured with the sword, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. For to this you were called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example, that you should follow his steps, who did not sin, neither was deceit found in his mouth, who, when he was reviled, didn't revile back, when he suffered, didn't threaten, but committed himself to him who judges righteously, who his own self bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we, having died to sins, might live to righteousness, by whose stripes you were healed. Don't you know that you are a temple of God, and that God's Spirit lives in you? If anyone destroys the temple of God, God will destroy him, for God's temple is holy, which you are. But just as he who called you is holy, you yourselves also be holy in all of your behavior, because it is written, You shall be holy, for I am holy. Therefore, putting away all filthiness and overflowing of wickedness, receive with humility the implanted word, which is able to save your souls. Giving thanks to the Father, who made us fit to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light, who delivered us out of the power of darkness, and translated us into the kingdom of the Son of His love, in whom we have our redemption, through His blood, the forgiveness of our sins. God raised Him up the third day, and gave Him to be revealed, not to all the people, but to witnesses who were chosen before by God, to us who ate and drank with Him after He rose from the dead. He charged us to preach to the people, and to testify that this is He who is appointed by God as the judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets testify about Him, that through his name everyone who believes in him will receive remission of sins. The Father loves the Son and has given all things into his hand. One who believes in the Son has eternal life, but one who disobeys the Son won't see life, but the wrath of God remains on him. Be it known to you, therefore, brothers, that through this man is proclaimed to you remission of sins, and by him everyone who believes is justified from all things from which you could not be justified by the law of Moses. He said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to the whole creation. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who disbelieves will be condemned. Sirs, what must I do to be saved? They said, Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved, you and your household. 
Putting away, therefore, all wickedness, all deceit, hypocrisies, envies, and all evil speaking, as newborn babes, long for the pure milk of the word, that you may grow thereby. If indeed you have tasted that the Lord is gracious, coming to him a living stone, rejected indeed by men, but chosen by God, precious. You also, as living stones, are built up as a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. Brothers, if any among you wanders from the truth and someone turns him back, let him know that he who turns a sinner from the error of his way will save a soul from death and will cover a multitude of sins. Pray like this. Our Father in heaven, may your name be kept holy. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done, as in heaven, so on earth. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts, as we also forgive our debtors. Bring us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen.